Okay, cool. Hey, um, welcome to Light Gross Music. Um, my name's Cameron Coffee. Um, let's compose a song. So I am been stuck in the house. You know, I've been uh, dealing with COVID for the last like week. I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit. And I've really kind of had this idea of making more YouTube videos about the process of me composing. Today, I'm gonna give myself a challenge. I'm gonna try to write a tune entirely based off the name of the tune first. All right, so the tune that we're gonna be naming, or this tune that we're gonna be creating, the name that we're gonna be creating a tune for, however you wanna say it, is going to be called Estranged Familiarity. And I've already decided that I want this to be a woodwind quintet. Um, why did I decide I wanted it to be a woodwind quintet? Was because um, I need to get better at writing things that aren't jazz. So it's called A Strange Familiarity. I was initially gonna write it as a jazz tune. Now it's gonna be a woodwind uh, quintet. This is the place that I've been taking a lot of my inspiration from. I've been taking my inspiration from um, Fire Emblem. So I've been listening to the Fire Emblem soundtracks and then also some uh, different things that some of my woodwind friends have been uh, sending to me. So. There was this Libertango arrangement by uh, Jeff something. Hold on. Libertango Jeff Scott. Now, I don't necessarily want my piece to sound like Libertango, but um, just getting a basis on how uh, woodwinds interact with each other has been really helpful. I want this to have like an epic feeling, but the thing is, bassoon is not gonna be as epic as tuba. Bassoon is more reedy than tuba, right? French horn gives kind of like this whale song sound, which I mean is really nice. Um, and I will use that as kind of like the, uh, it's first saying the melody. And then I'll have the oboe come in with the first pass of the melody. Or maybe I'll have the clarinet. Mm, I'm thinking clarinet has like a doo -doo 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 And I would steal that from, um, from Spider-Man flute. I'll come up with that later. I'm thinking like a from the bassoon. clarinet has like a all I gotta do is figure out what to do with the flute and the bobos and we good so fast forward now boom, the first uh, 16 bars is completely done. Um, so it starts off with this kind of like bassoon, like I said, blah, and then the horn comes in with the do 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 the clarinet comes with the and then oboe comes with the main melody, and the flute comes up with the melody with an octave higher. Now, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flesh out the parts that haven't been written up till there, and then I'm done for the night. Um, I'm gonna get back to this because it's gonna be fire, but that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night.
Okay, so it's the next day. Um, and let's get started. Okay, so the idea for this is to not necessarily have a tune, right? That's gonna have like a specific format. It's more about going to have a uh, melodic development and taking this idea and seeing what I can what I can do with it, how creative I can get um, before ultimately deciding I need to move on to something more open and illustrious. One idea that I'm playing with right now is I, that this, at the ending of what I had before, I had this kind of big cadence, right? But, um, and I'm thinking to kind of like subvert that a little bit, I'll have the oboe kind of come in with back in the melody and then I'll see what I'm gonna do from there. So one thing that I've kind of noticed is that woodwind instruments, the timbre that each of them produce, that's very similar does not occur at the same ranges. So that's something that I'm kind of playing with right now. So I'm going to go back and add articulations, but this is the first part where the articulations are very important. So I hear the French horn going, So I'm thinking marcados. Um, and then that could be a glitch right here. Okay, so I had an epiphany that I want this to be around about three and a half minutes, right? That way it's uh, long enough to have written material, right? It, it, like, you, you can, it proves that I have written material, but it's also short enough where it's not completely boring you out of your mind and repeating similar ideas. So that brings me up to around like 90 measures, and currently I'm about 30. So we're gonna just keep rolling with it and we'll see what we do. Okay, so the thing that I added was this kind of like oompa section, right? Cause I mean, okay, so the, my idea was having this kind of like fire and boomly epic march can get boring after a little bit i might delete this all and you never know sometimes you have good ideas sometimes you have ideas that, that you're gonna throw away after a few minutes but i can have this epic march sound and then it goes into this really happy thing and then it gets cut right back to this slow march all right so this section um it's going back to the angsty edgy war time thing so you have this little happy period that gets abruptly cut, boom. And um, instead you get into this, this long drawn out version of the beginning where the beginning is just kind of like maybe like eight bars of this low, low F pedal. This one's just going on seemingly forever, but it also starts off with this rhythmic motif coming from the um, clarinet with this Right, and the French horn has this that's coming at, at seemingly like random periods. It's not coming on the same downbeat, it's not coming on the same, it's not holding for the same length. Um, and then I'm going to have the flute and clarinet take us in and then take us out.
So now that I have all that written out, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some background harmonies, background voicing, some flourishes, and then I'll be done. So, time skip. Um, I wanna talk through some of the changes that I've made since I, uh, you know, last came on. It's, it's probably about three or four hours since the last time I said anything. So, I got busy. So the first thing that's up, I uh, like I, I just fleshed out this opening. I gave some light woodwind like flourishes uh, throughout these pieces. Um, and then I fleshed out like everything. So everything has kind of like chords underneath or some type of counter melody. Um, and that can be seen, you know, in 32 where there's like a whole chord there. Um, anywhere from 29 to this oompa section. Um, and initially I had a, um, I had a scissora or like a break from the happy-go-lucky section into the angsty section. Um, but I decided that I'm not going to do that. And instead it's just going to be a hard, hard stop into that section, just like it's a hard stop going into it. But the thing is a lot of people, a lot of times, and going into fast things, it's it's more okay than going back to slow immediately. So this is kind of jarring, but I also kind of like it. So we'll see it in a second. Later on, um, moving on, uh, m again, more uh, woodwind flourishes throughout. I may go back after this video and, you know, edit some things as I see fit just to make it a more cohesive piece. But I like how it's turning out so far. I want to say it's kind of like a... Eastern European vibe towards the end um, and you'll see what what I mean by that um, a lot of this is very smash brosy um, so I mean I did take a lot of my inspiration from Fire Emblem Nintendo Smash Bros uh, type things so without further ado let's listen to it Estranged familiarity.
chord is a I'm a jazz major chord. <laughs> yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Um, I am Cam K Coffee on every single platform. That's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, uh, uh, TikTok. Everything you can find me at Cam K Coffee. Uh, don't forget to like that hit the like button don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button um because that'll help a lot and it'll show that people actually care um so thank you yeah